Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be starting episode 10 in our series, The Hitchhiker's Guide to D2R Modding. And this is going to actually be the last episode of the general modding guides. Um, so we've gone over every file type, how to use them, some of the reference files, um, more or less the broad overview of how everything works in Diablo 2 Resurrected. And from the next episode on, uh, we're going to be diving into specific edit tutorials. So the actual mods that you guys are going to be doing, um, we're going to be going in depth and doing the, um, you know, corresponding edit, you know, on screen so you can see how it's done and how it's applied for yourself. Um, but with all that said, today we're going to be talking about .txt files. Um, so if you guys are liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe. You guys know the drill. Um, and with that out of the way, let's roll right into it. Um, so you may be asking why we saved .txt for the very end, um, because as many of you are probably familiar with from Legacy, um, this is the way to control all gameplay and world-oriented data. Um, the simple reason for that is um, Blizzard has already done a data guide for these files, um, and it's all easily viewable in one place, um, and it does break down the functions in very good detail. Um, yes, it's not perfect, but um, you know, obviously our Discord and community members are happy to help anytime you need. Um, but again, for those new um, who may be wondering what I'm talking about, what the dot .text, all this, let's go ahead and break it down um, and we'll get you rolling on your way in no time. Um, so again, it is the way to control all kind of gameplay and, and world-oriented data. And what we mean by that is um, any kind of item stats, monster skills, um, drop tables, you know, all that stuff is controlled in this .txt information, um, and all of it is going to be stored in the data global Excel folder. Um, so we'll just pull up cask here, we'll go to data global Excel, and we can see that all of our text files are stored here. Um, and obviously, um, you can start telling what some of them are for right away just by the file name. Um, but again, there is a, a data guide by Blizzard that will break down everything um, you know, in detail, but we will take a, a brief look at some of those. Um, another thing you should know is you might have just seen there's also dot bins along with these dot texts. Um, so you can compile these texts into bins, um, and that's just kind of as an protection method, if you will, for uh, mod makers um, so that somebody can't just copy and paste everything from your mod. Um, you can kind of convert it to a dot bin, help give yourself a little protection. Obviously, nothing's perfect, but um, it will add some resilience. Um, again, I've mentioned a few times, Blizzard doesn't in include a complete data guide. So right here in the Excel folder, we'll see the file guide that they include. Um, I don't know if it's been updated quite yet for 2.4. Hopefully, they'll get to that. Um, but essentially, you can view all the individual text files. Um, for me, the uh, hot leaks don't work with Edge. Uh, obviously, your experience may vary. Um, but essentially, we can scroll down. By the way, we do have a PDF version on the website. Um, but if you like it, it straight from the you know Excel folder, here you go. Um, anyways, uh, it will break down every single text as well as what all the individual columns do. Um, so to make sense of that, let me go ahead and open one of these files here and let's just open up actinfo.txt so we can um, just get an understanding. Um, so when we open that up, I do recommend AFJ Sheet Editor. Um, again, you can uh, grab this from our website. The video link is in the description below. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open it with that. And this will break it down in an easily editable format and give you some kind of specific options you might like. Um, but we can kind of quickly start breaking down these, these columns, these headers. Um, and again, it's going to tell us exactly what these headers do. Um, and so when we want to, now this one's a little more self-explanatory, you know, we know what kind of waypoint one and one through nine would indicate, um, but it's some of them, you know, for your item stats or monsters or whatever, you'll need to know what the columns mean so that you know what the one even means in the first place. So if we go to like wandering NPC range and we wonder why this has a one, but all the others don't, we can see this is a modifier that gets added to the NPC start. Um, value uh, to randomly select the monster, basically. Um, so it's just saying in Act 1, um, you know, it can randomly spawn some of those based on the values there. Um, but again, it does include a data guide um, with breakdowns of 
uh, tables and functions when needed. Um, I think especially some of the more useful ones are going to be the function tables um, that you'll see here for um, let's do helps if you type correctly. Um, so a lot of the functions that you'll see for different missiles, the client functions, um, the server functions, um, now they're finally kind of broken down. You can see what everything will be used for. So this will help you mix and match to, to get the effects you'll need. Um, obviously, we'll learn more about that in specific edit tutorials as well as from our Discord. Um, but we've gone over some of that. Um, one thing you do need to know is that because these kind of came from uh, Diablo 2 Legacy, um, you're going to inherit a lot of those same file limits. Um, so some of the notable ones are, uh, for example, like states.txt, um, which you know will let you apply, for example, certain auras or, again, states, um, while uh, for a skill or an item, et cetera, um, are limited to like 255 rows. Um, so you don't have too many um, you know, total states that you can add without suddenly going over your limit. Um, for states especially, if you're into like color die systems and things like that, um, that's going to become a real headache real quick. Um, another, uh, you know, file limit you might run into is like item stat cost. Um, dot text. This defines all the actual stats in the game. Um, so your strength, or you know, 10% chance to cast whatever, blah blah blah. Um, the actual stat that you see on the item. Um, this is limited to like 511, um, which you know, again, may seem like a lot, but they're already using a little over 360 of them. Um, and once you start really rolling into modding and uh, stuff like that, you'll find that those stats can fill up quite fast. So just be wary. There are some kind of file limits that you'll have to um, worry about. Um, another noticeable one, although not related to dot .txt, I'll just quickly mention it, is your character save file. Um, you know, you've got limits there. Um, and then the last thing you'll need to know uh, is that now that, you know, resurrected is a thing, everything in dot .txt essentially um, that has a visual, an animation, et cetera, aspect to it, um, is going to have a link to a JSON file somewhere. Um, so examples might be missiles, items, monsters. Those names are going to be referenced um, so that they can have the proper visuals applied to them um, when you switch between modes and things like that. Um, so just be you know, wary that when you're adding new things um, and you go in game and you see everything fine and resurrected, but you don't see anything and, uh, you know, or I'm sorry, you see everything fine and legacy, but when you look in re resurrected, you don't see all your new edits. Um, it's probably because we don't have the JSON uh, updates for, for all those kind of new things you've done. Um, but because the data guide does go over so much of the files already, um, we're really not going to go over much more than that in this video. Um, again, you can compile them to bins. You can um, edit them how you'd like as far as what you're trying to do. You know, again, changing um, stat values to buff certain skills or adding new items, etc. Um, we'll go more in depth on kind of tutorials, um, but I definitely recommend reaching out to Discord or our community in general um, when you want to apply certain things. Um, there's a lot of talented and helpful people out there that will gladly, you know, guide you along the way and show you what you can do to change things how you'd like. Um, but with that, I know it's a shorter video and it was kind of safe to the end just because a lot of you might be familiar with it already. And again, Blizzard did kind of provide their own guide that will answer a lot of those uh, basic, you know, what does this do question or how do I do this question. Um, so with that said, um, stay tuned definitely for our future videos where we really start diving in depth on specific edits. But I hope this has been a quick update for you or at least somewhat helpful. Um, thanks for sticking around and have a great day. Bye.